a godly good morning, a godly good morning to each and every one of you. God bless you, God bless you as you tune in today to Higher Level Global Ministry Online Bible Study. You are listening to the voice of Pastor Melissa Johnson. And today our Bible study topic is going to be Kingdom Citizen. For just a brief moment, I'm going to type something in the command box so that whenever anyone join, they will be able to see this um, this info here. We're going to wait a few minutes for some persons to join the broadcast, and then we are going to commence our Bible study today for Wednesday. As you come on to the live broadcast, feel free to share the live broadcast so that you can be a blessing uh, in the life of someone else. Someone somewhere may be in need of an encouraging word. They may be in need of inspiration. This morning I went out on the road and I stopped at the gas station to, to refill and I was speaking with the attendant at the pump and as we were speaking, you know, he was talking about blessings and um, he's saying today is going to be the day that he receive his blessings. He's going to receive his blessings today. Uh, and so I told him, I said, you, you're not just going to receive it today. You have already received your blessings. You are already blessed by God. You know, I we uh, began to get a little deeper into talking about uh, the blessings of the Lord. And, you know, as we spoke, he said, man, you made my day. You know, I feel so encouraged today. Um, I feel better, you know. Um, and so as simple as that, I didn't know that, you know, that I was going to see him and I was going to be a blessing to him. But as simple as just having a conversation with him and, you know, Using the word of God in our conversation, he was inspired by the word of God. And so I can't say it enough that it is important for us to uh, share the gospel. It is important for us to share the word of God whenever we get the opportunity. We don't know we could be saving someone's life. We could be uh, the, the, the person that God is using to help them, to inspire them, to, 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 to change their life. Not only to uh, 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 cause them to, 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 to strengthen them or inspire them and give them a little bit more juice to go on, but we could be helping them to change. Change is important. We know how, how hard it is for people to change. We know it is, it is very hard. It is not easy for people to change. And so anytime someone cha life is changed, it is something that should be celebrated. Glory be to God. Not only by earth, the persons that are inhabiting earth, but it is celebrated in heaven. The Bible says, uh, Heaven rejoices over one sinner that repents. And so it's important for us to share the word of God. It's important to make sure that the word of God gets out there 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Um, and so I want to say good morning, good morning, good morning to each of you. God bless you. Thank you so very much for joining the broadcast today. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to wait a few more minutes for a few more people to join the live before we start um, this morning Bible study. Okay, so Okay. All right. So let's get into let's get into the word for this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mother Maroni Black. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. I hope that you're doing very well this morning. Wherever you are. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. This morning, we are going to be talking about the kingdom of heaven. Good morning, Deron Williams. God bless you. Thank you for listening. We're going to be talking about the kingdom of heaven. And we have a few scriptures that we're going to look uh, through. Glory be to God. But let us bow our heads and reverence ourselves as we invite uh, the Holy Spirit to come into our midst. Hallelujah, glory be to God, because we need his help. Hallelujah. Without God, we cannot do anything. Without God, we will fail. And so we are dependent on his knowledge and his wisdom. We are dependent on his revelation this morning to help us. Glory be to God, to teach us, to guide us in the paths that we should go. We cannot do anything of ourselves. So, Father God... We thank you this morning for this opportunity to uh, share your word. We thank you for this opportunity to, to, to be here on earth above ground, Father God. We thank you for this opportunity to uh, take advantage of this new day, Father, to let your will be done in this day. We thank you, Father God, that you are still in control and we thank you for your mercy because we realized when we woke up this morning that had it not been for you, we would not have awoken this morning. So we thank you for this chance, hallelujah, to be above ground. We thank you for this chance to live, to breathe, hallelujah, and all those other things that we do with our days. We thank you for this opportunity, Father God. I pray this morning, Father God, that we will realize that today is a gift, hallelujah, you have given us. Help us, Father God, to accept that gift and help us to do those things that are important, Father God, as a result, hallelujah, as a result of our gratefulness and our thankfulness towards you. Help us to do the things that are priority for the kingdom of heaven. Lord, help us to focus on the kingdom of heaven and not the kingdom of this earth. Hallelujah, God, because your word said that only what we do for you is going to last. Everything else will pass. Everything else will fade away. Father God, even our very lives, hallelujah, will fade away at some point in time. And so help us to remember this, God. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Help us to remember, Father, that we are pilgrims passing through this earth. We did not come here to stay. Father God, so help us, hallelujah, glory be to God, to have a spiritual outlook and help us to prepare spiritually, Father God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, for our future ahead, for our next life, for the beginning of eternity. Help us to prepare, Father. Hallelujah. Bless all those that are listening. Father God, meet every need in the mighty name of Jesus. God, let there be nothing lacking. In the mighty name of Jesus, heal every and anything that is broken. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you now. Hallelujah, God. Show up in this Bible study. Hallelujah. Let you be seen. Let you be heard in this Bible study. Hallelujah. And let me, Lord God, the one who is hosting this Bible study, decrease. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay. People of God, I want to thank each and every one of you once again for joining the, the broadcast. It is always a pleasure and a privilege to be able to come before you and share the word of God with you. Um, I want to say that it is not about numbers, glory be to God, because if it was, I would have already been discouraged, and so I'm not looking for uh, to be famous from from uh, doing what I am supposed to do as a kingdom citizen. All I want to do is do what I am supposed to do because it is the least that I can do. Hallelujah. After all God has done for me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He has blessed me over and over again. And so this is the least that I can do is share the knowledge, hallelujah, the wisdom that he has given me. It's the least that I can do. It's my reasonable service. And so I thank you, those of you who um, come through the broadcast, those of you who listen and tune into the broadcast, those of you who uh, like and share uh, the gospel, the, the Bible study, or the worship services. Uh, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Glory be to God. And so let's get into the word. We're going to be short. We're going to be here for a short time. Hallelujah. So the kingdom of God. When we talk about the kingdom of God, we sometimes talk about, we sometimes say the kingdom of heaven. And I want to say to you this morning that the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God is the same. Glory be to God. It is not two different kingdoms. It's the same kingdom. We just change uh, God and heaven interchangeably. Hallelujah. So when you hear someone say the kingdom of God, it is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. When you hear someone say the kingdom of heaven, it is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so primarily, uh, the kingdom of God is spoken about frequently in the New Testament. Glory be to God. You hear of the kingdom of God frequently in scripture, in the new chapters. Hallelujah. Um, Jesus talked about the kingdom of God a whole lot. A number, quite a number of times, Jesus talked about the kingdom of heaven. Glory be to God. I want to say very briefly for a definition, the kingdom of heaven, it is a spiritual realm. A realm where God reign as sovereign king. Glory be to God. It is a spiritual realm. Not the physical realm that we are living in. Where things, where matter is solid, we can touch it, we can feel it. You know, we can hold it in our hands. No, it is a spiritual realm. And in this spiritual realm, hallelujah, God reigns. It is a place Hallelujah, where God is in total, complete control. Glory be to God. And so, Jesus talked about the kingdom of God, as I said, a number of times. And so, when we talk about the kingdom of God, we know that a kingdom has a king. God is this king of the kingdom of heaven. And we know that if there is a king, then there are citizens of the kingdom. 
And those of us who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord, we are a part of that citizen, of the citizen of heaven. Glory be to God. Or the, the kingdom of God. We are citizens of heaven and the kingdom of God. Right? So, as citizens in the kingdom of God, there is a mandate for us citizens to lead by good example. Hallelujah. If God has a mandate to be king, then the citizens has mandates also the citizens of heaven glory be to god and so as citizens of heaven there are some things that we must do if we are what we say we are we cannot go contrary to what we say we are you know there are a lot of people who profess to be a lot of things they are speaking it, they are talking it, but they are not living it. And so people are confused as to whether what they are professing is what they really are. And so let us look at some of the things that a kingdom citizen should should have or some of the things that qualifies someone to be a kingdom citizen as i said before one of the qualifications for a citizen of heaven is to accept that jesus christ is the son of god accept hallelujah that god is king, that God is in control, that God is real. Accept him as king. That's the first thing that we need to identify a kingdom citizen. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal savior? Has you accepted that he is the son of God, the true and the living God? Number one, do you have the right attitude? Do you have the mindset? We know we always say that the right attitude will take you places. You know, it will take you, it will take you to great altitude. The right alt attitude will take you to great altitude means that if you, your attitude is right, if you don't have a sour attitude, a stink attitude, a bad attitude, a strife attitude, a lying attitude, if you don't have those bad attitude and you have a right attitude, means that you're respectful, you're kind, hallelujah, you, 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 you have someone described, the Bible described Daniel, hallelujah, in the book of Daniel, it described Daniel as having an excellent spirit. Daniel had an excellent spirit. He was easy to talk to and he was um, easily approachable. And Daniel was um, a man of zeal and a man of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. He was such a, 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 a wise man until he was given a position to, to sit on the side of a king. Glory be to God. And in time, he was given a position to advise, advise the king because of his excellent spirit. Glory be to God. So a kingdom citizen attitude have to be right. Hallelujah. You can have a foul attitude. Hallelujah. And represent the kingdom of heaven. Because as I said before, we are mandated to be good examples. We are mandated to set the pace. Hallelujah. For others to follow us. Glory be to God. Not really us, but for others to follow Christ. For others to follow what we are preaching. What we are professing. We are mandated to do it well. Glory be to God. And so the right attitude, first salvation, 
for kingdom citizen. You must be saved. Second, have the right attitude. It will take you to the altitude that you need to go. Glory be to God. So, um, thirdly, as a kingdom citizen, we have to submit to the kingdom rule, to the kingdom authority. We have to submit to kingdom governance and kingdom officers. Glory be to God. And so you can't say that you are a part of the providence of, of, of uh, let's say, uh, Nassau. And then uh, all the things that Nassau officers or governors uh, bring forth, you don't want to abide by it. Glory be to God. So you have to uh, submit. You have to uh, humble yourself. Glory be to God. Under the governance of heaven. Under the reign of almighty God. You have to humble yourself to all those persons that God has put in place. Hallelujah. To lead you, to guide you, and even at some point protect you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, the, the fourth point is, as a kingdom citizen, hallelujah, we must be ready. We must be ready to do good things. We must be ready to show that we know what it is to be righteous. Glory be to God. We must, glory be to God, at times when we have the opportunity to judge we must judge righteously. We must not judge wickedly and wrongly. Glory be to God. We know sometimes we have the opportunity to, you know, look over uh, certain situations. Certain people will bring certain matters before us. Glory be to God. And so as a kingdom citizen, it is our responsibility. It is our job. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. To Look over the situation and make sure that we judge it rightly. Make sure that we, hallelujah, uh, do not come from a place of biasness, but make sure that we come from a place of justice. Hallelujah, because God is a God of justice. He's a God of peace. And so every opportunity that we get, hallelujah, to oversee someone's situation, uh, we must make sure that we are doing it from a kingdom citizen perspective and not from this uh, earth or worldly perspective. Hallelujah. We, we know that the world does things differently from the kingdom of heaven. The world does things differently from the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And as a kingdom citizen, our response must be, hallelujah, glory be to God, must always be, Hallelujah, a kingdom perspective. Hallelujah. And so, uh, six, we should not have that spirit of quarreling and the spirit of slandering anyone. Glory be to God. You know, some of us, we have that spirit of strife. Hallelujah. We say that we name the name of God. We say that. We are kingdom citizen. We say that we are working uh, to, 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 to enter into, hallelujah, glory to the kingdom of heaven. But what we are doing is we are stirring up trouble. We are stirring up strife. We are told in news. Hallelujah. We are living a lie. Glory be to God. We are causing all kind of situations, hallelujah, relational uh, situation to arise. Hallelujah, glory be to God, but we confess that we are Christians, we are believers. No, that type of behavior disqualifies us from being kingdom citizen. Hallelujah. And so, lastly, hallelujah, we must trust and believe. Hallelujah, glory be to God. We must trust and believe, hallelujah, God. We must trust and believe, hallelujah, glory be to God, his righteous officers. Glory be to God. <clears throat> Kingdom citizens, we are to put God first in all things. Hallelujah. Our perspective is to be godly. The Bible says, let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And that word is coming from Philippians 2 and 5. 
let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus, Philippians 2 and 5. Do not be conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. And that is coming from Romans 12 and 2. We bless the Lord this morning for the word of God, for the people of God. Hallelujah. So we live in this world, but we are not of this world. As I said, we are pilgrims passing through. Hallelujah. And we must do our best to try to remember that, that we are here temporarily. We are not here permanently as kingdom citizens. Some people think that, or some people have, uh, have not yet thought about what is going to happen to them if they die. Some people have not thought about what is going to happen when that time come, uh, when death knocks on the door. They have not even given that a consideration. Um, and so for those persons who have given it a consideration, I encourage you to remember, remember that as a kingdom citizen, this earth, this place is not our home. There is a city. The word of God says in John chapter 14 and 2, he says, In uh, my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. In, in, in verse 3, he said, And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am there he may be also. Glory be to God. Father God. Send his son into the world. He came, died for us, paid the price for us, paid the debt for us. Glory to God. Made it right between us and God again. Stood as our advocate. Hallelujah. And then he promised us as he was leaving, he said, I am I'm going to my father, but I'm not going there just to forget you. I will remember you. And I will prepare a place for you so that when I come back here, I will receive you unto myself that where I am, you may be also. I want to keep our communion strong. I want to keep our contact strong. I want to keep our relationship strong. And so I'm making preparations for you and I. This is what Jesus is saying. Our advocate is saying. Glory be to God. According to Luke 22, 29 to 30. The word of God, hallelujah, speaks about, Jesus speaks about the kingdom, the kingdom of God, hallelujah. It, uh, 29 reads, and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father had appointed unto me, that he may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Glory be to God. Many of us, many of us, um, everything that we have been doing or most of the things that we have been doing, most of the things that we have been trying to accomplish, we have done it using the world strategy. Glory be to God. But if you are a kingdom citizen, you need to use kingdom strategy. Many of us has used uh, the world timing and, and other limited resources of the world. And I have a question I would like to ask us today. How do we as kingdom citizens use the world strategy to be successful and discover our divine purpose? How? We're supposed to use... Kingdom citizen strategy, not world strategy. No wonder we are not getting the results that we are expecting. We are using the wrong strategy. When we use 
the right strategy as kingdom citizens, it will elevate our fate. It will take us to higher level of dominion and authority. Everything then becomes clarified and becomes more potent. For example, when we act as kingdom citizens, our peace, we find peace. We feel peace. We enjoy peace. When we act as kingdom citizens, we feel hope. We know that we have hope. Hallelujah. And we feel that hope. Glory be to God. We experience joy. Hallelujah. As kingdom citizens, because the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We experience joy because we are in relationship with Jesus Christ. We are not separated from him. When we are in relationship with Jesus Christ, there are so many inheritance to being and, and benefits of being in relationship with Jesus Christ. And I say it is peace. It's joy. Hallelujah. Even vision. Our vision become clearer the closer we get to Jesus Christ. The closer we get to Jesus Christ, the more we understand that we are kingdom citizens. The clearer our vision for life, our life in this life will be and after. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Your spiritual outlook becomes much more clearer. When you understand that you are a kingdom citizen, you are not, hallelujah, as just a citizen of this world. Hallelujah. And so as I, as I wrap up today, God has given me a message for some of you this morning. And he says that he has a problem or he has a grievance with some of us. God said, as a kingdom citizen, we have believed him for other people's blessing and breakthroughs. But we have yet to believe him for, for our own. I am going to repeat that again. God said the problem we have with some of us this morning is that we have believed him for other people's blessings and breakthrough. But we have yet to believe him for our own. My God, you happy for other people? Yes, God doesn't have a problem with that. You see other people are getting their blessings and breakthrough. Hallelujah. God doesn't have a problem with you being happy for other people. Hallelujah. But he said his problem is when you don't believe him for your breakthrough, for your own blessings. That's where he have the problem with us. God says when you when are you going to believe that I have what I have done for everyone else is what I can do for you? When are you going to believe that what I have done for everyone else is what I can do for you? God says, when are you going to surrender so that I can rest my full anointing on you? I'm going to repeat that again because someone need to hear this today. When are you going to surrender so that I can rest my full anointing on you? As you listen in today, God said, there is a time when you have to press the brakes and pause. He said, I love when you celebrate others, but I hate when you overlook or you have a lack of confidence in what I can do, what I have done and what I am willing to do for you. 
as I conclude the message this morning, the Bible study this morning, I want you to remember three things. Know who you are. Reflect on your thoughts and actions. Are you putting God first at all times and in all things? Secondly, see that the will of God is done. See that you understand his omnipotence. His omnipotence is that he have total, ultimate, complete control over all. And finally, thirdly, no one deserves God's favor more than you. For the Bible says, according to Romans 3.23, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. God wants me to tell you this morning. He has chosen you. You did not choose him. He has chosen you. So let go of the negative thoughts and action as the Bible admonishes us. Let go of the no negative thoughts and actions. Do this every day. The Bible says, renew your mind every day. Do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed. By the renewing of your mind. You renew your mind when you let go of negative thoughts and negative actions. As kingdom citizens, we cannot go to heaven with bad attitude, bad mindset. And using strategies of the world. I hope that this message today was a blessing to you. And I hope that it helped you in your walk with God. As kingdom citizens, we have a mandate. And our mandate is to make sure that... The kingdom of heaven comes down to king, the kingdom on earth. The kingdom here of the world. Glory be to God. Our mandate is, as our All Father prayer, as, as Jesus teaches in our All Father prayer, he said, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in heaven as it is in earth. The will of the Lord needs to be done if we are kingdom citizens if we came down from god and we are of god and we are for god then while we are living here in the earth glory be to god we should be examples of what takes place in the kingdom of god what takes place in the heaven hallelujah glory be to god So, as I said, when I first started, we are mandated to be good examples. If we say that we are kingdom citizens, then let us begin to act as kingdom citizens. Let us check our ways. Let us check our actions. And let us align ourselves with the will of God, the perfect will of God. Hallelujah. Align ourselves with those things which is good. Those things that heaven will accept. Glory be to God. And let us believe. Hallelujah. Because if we do not believe, then we are not going to live the right way. We are not going to live the kingdom way. We are not going to live as kingdom citizens if we are not believing in God, if we are not believing that after this life is going to be another life where we can reign with Father God, where we can reign in those mansions that he has gone to prepare. If we don't believe right, we are not going to act right. 
And so today, I pray that God will all give us, give us all the grace to understand who we are and help us to align our lives with that of the kingdom, the principles of the kingdom of God, the principles of the kingdom of heaven. God bless you. Thank you so very much for tuning in to um, Higher Level Global Online Ministry Bible Study this morning.